Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Tom here. Please remember to subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends, comment down below, request any videos you want me to do, and hit that notification bell. That way you'll know I'm doing a video. Check out Fanbo Friday, something we've been doing. You get to vote on the following Friday's video. Uh, having so much fun, like I say all the time, just really really never knew there was all this music out there uh i really have some great loyal fans uh watch me every day and stuff and it's just it's just really great really great but today is friday and it's the winner of last week's fan vote friday and this was a uh, really close vote they won by like it, they had 31 percent and shania twain had 29 percent but it's wild cherry played at funky music and uh, they were formed in 1970 in mingo junction ohio rob parisi uh, was raised in the steel town of mingo junction he graduated high school there in 68 and formed the band in 70. the band name was taken from cough drops i think it was the smith brothers say so cough drops uh, it said wild cherry on there if i recall they played a lot in the ohio valley region including here in pittsburgh they came over um, they, re they renamed this street after Rob Parisi and they made August 11th Rob Parisi Day and, uh, in Mingo Junction. And if I recall, they said that the so this song came about because they were playing somewhere and uh, I think maybe it was a, a all black club or something and they said, uh, play that funky music white boy and that's where this song came about now I'm not a hundred percent sure if that's true but I think I did hear that so I've seen this a long time ago I've heard it a million times so let's go <laughs> Back in those days, they, so many people had the perms, and everyone liked to show off their hairy chest. The girls liked it now, shave every inch of their body.
that good. That was good. Just so many memories of the 70s. The 70s were my favorite decade. I mean, 60s were great because I was a young kid, but the 70s were just fabulous. Oh, did so much. Oh, it was great. It was great. And, the, you know, the dress, the hair, all that uh, just brings you back. I know I'm sure I'm not going to get a lot of views on these Friday videos because they're older, and uh, but I'm having fun with them. I'm sure my son will probably say quit doing them or you know get some new stuff where people will watch. But I like them. I like them. So don't forget to vote on next Friday's video. And now it's time for Tom's Worthless Facts. In 1970, when Wild Cherry was formed, the Beatles broke up that year. That was it. Paul McCartney announced they were no longer. Uh, a band. A cyclone hit Bangladesh and kills a half a million people. I mean, 500,000, man, that's a lot of people to be killed. 100,000 people demonstrate in Washington, D.C. against the war in Vietnam. Uh, at that time, man, the, the protests and everything were going wild. Uh, the Chicago 7 defendants were found guilty of intent to incite a riot. Um, they were like a militant group and stuff, so but they were found guilty. You know, sure the fix was in. Uh, Sports Illustrated was 15 cents a copy. A one carat diamond ring was $299. You could get dog food, 12 cans for a dollar. Wow. And an AMC Gremlin car was $1,879. <laughs> and they were uh, they were dangerous as hell. If you got rear-ended, there were so many. Uh, people killed that in those cars. They eventually got rid of them. The gas tank was way in the back, and you know anything hit, man, it just set it off. So that's it for today. Fan vote Friday winner, Wild Cherry, and a close one. Like I said, don't forget to vote next week and check out some of my other videos this week coming up. So I really appreciate y'all. So that's it for today. As my father always says, hang in there tough. Be Major League. Till next time. Thanks again.